Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Hero Fitness and Performance, Season 1, Episode 11. Um, today's workout, we're going to need a chair, we're going to need a pair of dumbbells, uh, and we're going to need our loop bands, okay? We've got one movement prep circuit that'll be three rounds in the very beginning. We have two strength building circuits, uh, that'll be three rounds a piece after that. And then we have kind of a long time block that'll be some fun conditioning, but also a little strength building um, at the end. Okay, like I said, today, today should be a, a pretty fun but challenging workout, a lot of pulses, um, kind of holds and stuff like that, uh, but it should be fun. Okay, so let's start with a little uh, active warm up and we'll start with our flamingos to get everything nice and loose. Alternating legs, pull the heel into the butt, all right? Get those quads nice and loose. All right, so as we finish those, Pull the knee up into the chest, alternating sides here. All right, as we finish those, we're going to the lateral lunges, shifting side to side. Then into a reverse lunge, knee to the ground, reach up to the sky or the ceiling, push that hip forward, stretch out the hip flexor and the abs. Make sure we're alternating sides here as well. All right, so then opposite leg, opposite hand kicks. Get those hammies nice and loose. Alright, then a couple back slaps, warm up those chest and shoulders. Couple arm circles forward, big arm circles forward, and a couple backwards. Okay. Alright, so for this first movement, pr uh, movement prep circuit, we're going to need a light band and something moderate to heavy, okay? I'm gonna grab the heavy band. The heavy band we're gonna start with is gonna go around the thighs just above the knees, okay? I'm gonna sit down on the chair. I'm gonna pull out so I have tension on the band. We've done these before. It's a seated stanky leg, right? So one leg's gonna come in, foot's planted, pull out as far as I can. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on one side, the other night nice and table, stable, and I sit up nice and tall, and then I'm gonna do 30 seconds on the opposite side, okay? The leg that's not moving should be stable. I should be up nice and tall here, all right? So, 30 seconds on the one side, 30 seconds on the other side, starting in two, one, go. So one comes in, one pulls out, okay? Abs are nice and tight, posture's nice and tall, nice smooth and controlled movement. that glute to burn right let that knee crash in and then pull out as far as you can apart trying to break the band the opposite leg should sit nice and stable get good posture keep tension on the band the whole time and switch to the other leg two one go let it pull in and then drive out feet are stable about shoulder width apart knee comes in knee goes out tension on the band the whole time Abs are tight, nice work, get the butt burning. So we're gonna stand up for our next exercise. Just a second here. Last couple reps. And rest, okay. So, switch, or standing up now, band's gonna stay in the same spot, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a pulse squat where we pull our legs apart uh, at the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna drop down, pull my knees apart. When I get here, raise up four to six inches, and then come back up, trying to keep my knees apart the whole time, okay? So arms go out in front, create a counterbalance, get a pulse, and then stand back up. This is for 60 seconds, all right? Let's start in two, one, go. So here, pulse, stand back up. Pulse, stand back up, all right? 60 seconds, just nice and smooth, trying to pull the band apart. Again, 
toes are turned out just a little bit and my knees are gonna follow my toes and I really wanna try to pull that band apart with my glutes, try to break the band, right? Don't forget that pulse, right? Down, raise four to six inches and then coming back up. Halfway there, we're looking good. Keep pulling that band apart. Don't let those knees crash in. Keep them out as wide as you can. You should feel the outsides of those glutes burning, right? Almost there, guys. And rest. All right, so take the heavy band off. Grab your lightest band that you have. It's gonna go around the wrist. We're gonna be in a high plank position, okay? So it'll be here like this. Hands are on the ground. Back is nice and flat. I'm gonna go out to the side, back in, out to the other side, back in, okay? So we're gonna go 60 seconds, maintaining that high plank. Beginner version, we're here on the knees, okay? We can do the same thing. Back's nice and flat, keep those abs engaged. It's gonna be for 60 seconds, okay? So here we go in two, one, go. Hands right underneath the shoulders, okay? Widen the feet if we need a little bit more balanced support. Out to the side, back in, alternating sides. Keep those hips stable. Try not to let them wiggle. Pretend like you have a glass of water on your lower back that you don't want to spill. All right, nice and steady. If you like wine, imagine it's a glass of wine. If you like beer, same thing. Coffee, whatever you need. If it's early morning, maybe it's a plate of waffles. Who knows? Whatever motivates you to stay nice and stable, all right? Make sure we're not shifting back. Shoulders should stay right over wrists as we alternate sides here, okay? Nice and steady, nice and slow. Let the shoulders burn, let those abs burn. And rest, all right. Now, we're gonna flip over on our back. This is our last exercise in this circuit. Beginner version, band's gonna go around the thighs again, okay? Use the same light band, that's totally fine. We're here, we're in a tabletop, head and neck are down. I'm gonna march, one heel touches the ground, back up, one heel touches the ground, back up, using my abs to push my lower back flat to the mat, okay? Everybody else, legs will be up, straight like this, comes down, alternate, the leg that stays up, we're trying not to let it drop. So I'm keeping this as stable as I can here to come down like that, okay? So here we go. 60 seconds in two, one, go. Nice and stable. Pull down, alternate sides. The leg that stays up, try not to let it drop, okay? Keep that lower back flat to the mat. Alternate sides. We're slipping down a little bit. Good job, everybody. You can keep your head and neck down even better. Keep that lower back nice and flat. Alternate legs. I know those abs are feeling it. Hip flexors are probably feeling it a little bit too if you're tight, right? Nice and smooth, nice and steady. Challenge that core. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. We're gonna go right back to the chair stanky leg, all right? No rest here. Try to break a little sweat. And rest, all right? So light band can go away. Back to the heavy band. We're gonna have a seat back on our chair. Band's going around the thighs, just above the knees. Pull the feet apart so the shoulder width. We're gonna do the stanky leg, okay? In, two, one, go. So one leg goes in and out. Tension on the band the whole time. Sit right on the edge of the chair. Nice, proud posture. As much stretch of that band as you can. That opposite leg's just staying nice and stable. All right? Let it go in, let it pull apart. Start to feel that butt burning as we go. Nice and smooth, nice and slow. 30 seconds on this side. Then we're going right into 30 seconds on the opposite side. And switch, right up to the other leg, two, one, go. 
and pull it apart. Let the leg stay nice and stable. I wore my tights specifically so I wouldn't rip all the hair out of my legs, right? <laughs> those of you with hairy legs that have shorts on, I'm sorry, those bands are probably ripping all the hairs right on out. Strong and steady, nice posture, sitting up nice and tall. Make sure the abs are nice and tight. We're doing the standing pull squats with the band pull apart next and switch. All right, so here we go. Standing squat pull aparts in two, one, go. Pull those knees apart and do a little pulse. Back down, remember, toes should be pointed out a little bit. Knees should follow toes. Pull your knees as wide as you can as you go down. And again, it's a four to six inch bounce. So we go down, raise four to six inches, stand back up. All right? Key is, again, pulling those bands apart as wide as you can. Try to rip the band, but keep your entire foot on the ground. I don't want anybody going up where the arch of the foot, or the, the inside ball of the foot is off the ground, okay? Pull apart, bounce, come back up. Halfway there, keep sitting on those heels, keep pulling those knees apart, okay? Keep the ball of the foot there on the ground. Feel those glutes working, right? Again, should still be on the heavier band. We're gonna grab the light band next, and go to those high plank lateral shoulder taps. And rest. Okay, heavy band off. Grab that light band. It's going around the wrist. We're in that high plank position. This is where we're going to balance our waffles, right? Okay, starting in two, one, go. Again, can be on the knees or the toes. Just make sure we widen the base. Shoulders right underneath, or wrist right underneath shoulders. Okay, tension on the band the whole time. Step out, back in, out, back in, keeping your back and your hips as stable as you can, all right? Keep everything stable. Balance those waffles, <laughs> balance that glass of wine. If you're feeling bold and you have a partner, you can even have a partner put something on your back, lower back, to test you a little bit to see how stable you're being, right? You see a lot of people do this. It's defeating the purpose. We want those abs active, okay? The more stable that you can stay, the more you're working your abs, which is a good thing. It's going to make it harder, but we like hard. It's going to challenge us and make us better. Stability is key. And rest. Okay, on our back, band can go around the ankles or around the knees, whichever version you're doing. Okay. Look, I even match my tights. In two, one, go. So again, top leg staying stable. Don't let it drop. You can have a slight bend in your knee here if you need to, right? Just because I'm tight. Head and neck can stay down. Lower back, we want to keep as flat to the mat or the ground as we can. Should be nice and slow, alternate sides. That top leg's nice and stable. You guys are past halfway, keep it up. Again, nice light band on these, nothing crazy. As much range of motion as you're able to get. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. Feel those abs working, feel those hip flexors starting to get tight. And rest, all right. Right into the band, heavy band. Okay, chair stanky legs. Last set of these. We'll get onto more of the strength building stuff, okay? Starting in two, one, go. So one leg stable, nice and tall. Pull all the way out, let it crash in. Okay, tension on the band the whole time. Sit on the edge of the chair, nice proud posture. All right, don't want anybody here like they're on a computer, nice and tall, okay? Pulling apart, let it crash in, let it pull out. Awesome work, everybody. Hang in there. So last time through on this circuit, and then we'll get to the more challenging strength building stuff. We'll get good sweat going here. And switch, other leg. And now, go. Pulling apart. Get stable on one side. The other leg crashes in and then pulls out as wide as we can. We're trying to break that band. We got 30 seconds here, and then we're gonna do the standing squat pulse pull-aparts for 60 seconds. 
We're gonna start coming up with some better names for these exercises, right? Way too long. Last couple of seconds and switch. Okay, so standing, band pull apart squats in two, one, go. Drop down, don't forget that four to six inch pulse. Again, pull the knees apart as wide as you can. Turn those toes out a little bit. Make sure your knees are falling your toes as you go down. Good depth on the squat. Remember, we're still trying to break that band, trying to rip it apart. Keep those heels down, keep the ball of the foot down, push through the heel as much as we can. This is our last time through this circuit. We've got two more exercises, we've got a little break, and we'll move on to the next circuit. We're warming up and getting the glutes really active with these movements and the movement prep stuff because we're going to use a lot of glutes later today in the workout, all right? Something to look forward to. Almost there. And rest. Okay, so done with the heavy band. Grab the light band. High plank. Lateral shoulder taps in two, one, go. Around the wrists here. Shoulders over wrists. Tension on the band the whole time. Feet nice and wide. Out, back in, out, back in. Alternating sides. Remember to keep your core and your hips as stable as you can. Don't let them wiggle. Don't let yourself push back. Okay? If you start to feel your forearm breaking down, take a little break. Let everything rest for a second. And then get back and do it perfectly, right? Make sure those hips aren't wiggling. We're not spilling our coffee or our water or our bacon and waffles. Everything's stable. Doing great, everybody. Nice and smooth. We've got the leg drop, the band leg drops coming up last. And rest. Okay. Take that same band. Last time through these. Right around the ankles. Lay back. Two, one, go. Headed next down. Whoops. There goes some ankle hair. Alternate sides. Again, the top leg should stay nice and stable. All right, you gotta meet all the way up at the top before the other one can come back down. Use the abs to push the lower back to the ground. Strong and steady. This is our last time through on this movement, and then we'll get to the fun stuff, right? Almost there, last couple seconds, last couple reps. Don't let, let that leg drop like I did. Keep it as stable as you can, use those abs. And rest. All right, first circuit down, next circuit coming up, okay? Circuit number two. All right, so what we're gonna need next for the, the second circuit, you're gonna keep that light band around because we're gonna use it for the last exercise. Um, you're also gonna need your dumbbells, okay? It's an option. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, and you can decide whether you wanna use them or not. Okay, so beginner version. We are not going to use the chair. Body weight, here in a split stance, we drop down, touch the knee, come back up. Okay, so it's a double pump. I go down, touch, raise four to six inches, touch, come back up, okay? So it'd be 60 seconds on one side, 60 seconds on the other side. Intermediate version, okay? Foot's elevated, rear foot elevated on the chair. Same thing, I'm not gonna get down and touch my knee, but I'm gonna try and get as close to even my hip crease with my knee, four to six inches, and raise up, okay? No weights, just body weight. Again, it'll be 60 seconds one side, 60 seconds the other side. Advanced, you can hold a weight or two weights. If you're gonna hold one weight down, it's gonna be in the opposite hand of the foot on the ground. Or you can hold it in a goblet, or you can hold two out like this. Okay, so totally up to you. Beginner, no foot elevated. Intermediate, foot elevated with no weight. Advanced, foot elevated with a weight. Okay, so I'll let you pick which one you wanna do. All right, but we're gonna go 60 seconds on one side, 60 seconds the other, and then I'll demo the next two movements in this circuit, okay? Starting in, two, one, go. All right, don't forget the pulse. The four to six inch raise, down and then up. When we do these, Keep the chest up. Make sure my knee is not going in front of my toe. I want to sink straight down. 
try to keep my forward shin as close to perpendicular to the ground as you can. All right, push through that forward heel as we go down and as we come up, all right, again, nice proud chest, eyes looking straight ahead, we don't need to look up, we don't need to look down. If you're holding the weight here, keep it close, otherwise it could be down here, that's fine too. If you're not holding a weight, sometimes it helps to just have your arms out here or maybe even out to the side to help with a little bit of balance. There's definitely a balance component on this movement, right? Nice and smooth, nice and slow. Last couple seconds, last couple reps, we're gonna to switch to the other way. And switch, okay, right into it. Two, one, go. Whoops, there goes my chair. <laughs> Wheels are coming off, we're falling apart. <laughs> Balance not so good on this movement on my right leg. Not really, don't, don't know why. Nice and smooth, guys. Remember, shin perpendicular to the ground. There's one for the blooper reel, right? Nice and smooth, chest up, find your balance. Again, it's not a race or a rush. Just trying to stay nice and smooth, nice and slow. You want to get those glutes and quads burning on fire, okay? If you're not feeling your glutes enough, take your foot and put it a little bit further out. That's going to help keep your shin a little bit more perpendicular and put the stress a little bit more on the glute rather than the quad. Okay, conversely, if you want to feel it more on the quad, bring your foot a little bit closer. Just make sure you're able to drop straight down your knees, not going in front of your toe and rest. Okay, here we go. Next movement is a renegade row. Beginner version, we're here like this on our knees. We push up, we row one side, we row the other side. It helps to have the knees a little bit wider like this too. If you don't have a weight that you can rest your hands on, okay, you're gonna have one weight in the middle, do a push up, let's say it's a gallon of water, you'll row with one, row with the other, okay? Advanced version, it's the exact same movement. Okay, weights are down. Push up, row one side, row the other side. Same thing applies if you don't have a weight. Just put it in the middle, pull it this way, okay? So here we go. Renegade rows for 60 seconds. Two, one, go. Hands on the weights, okay? Push up, row, and row. Just like with those lateral shoulder taps with the band, we're trying to keep our hips as square as we can. Try not to turn and open up on this one, okay? We're trying to stay nice and steady and stable. Should be slow. We're not trying to set anything, set any records or anything. Feet are nice and wide to make sure we have that stability. All right, because it's really a plank the whole time too. So we want those abs engaged. We don't want to turn. Go back to that cup of water, whatever you don't want to spill. Maybe it's your savings jar that's on your lower back that you don't want to spill. Or maybe you do want to spill it because you want to buy that new workout clothes, right? New shoes. Last couple seconds, last couple reps, staying as strong and steady as you can and rest. All right, weights out of the way. We're on our back, grab your light band. This is going to go around our feet. Okay, like this. If, beginner level, we're not gonna use the band, okay? Everybody else, we're here, chest is up, bicycle crunch, knee to elbow, spread my feet as far as I can, and switch sides. I want a two second hold. Again, you can use a band or not, up to you, but we're starting in two, one, go. Chest is up the whole time, all right? Elbow touches the knee, about a two second hold, we're gonna switch. Keep this elevated, as much distance between your feet as you can get, okay? Don't forget that two second hold. We really want that burn to settle in, right? Almost there, everybody. And rest. All right, a little break, 15, 20 seconds. Catch your breath, whatever you need to. We're going through the rear foot elevated split squats again, the renegade rows again, the bicycle crunches again. This is a three set circuit. 
and then we'll move on. You guys are doing great so far. Hopefully everything, full body, is kind of burning pretty good. Put that heart rate up a little bit, get the breathing elevated just a little bit. All right, up to you if you want to move up from uh, beginner to inter intermediate, intermediate to advanced, maybe add a little bit more weight on the second round. Either way, here we go, okay? Second round in two, one, go. I'm gonna try not to chip, tip my chair over this time, but no guarantees. All right, so nice and smooth, nice and slow. Again, don't forget that double pulse, four to six inch down, then raise four to six inches and then coming back up. If you're holding two weights, make sure we're keeping those shoulder blades back together, chest is nice and proud, eyes looking straight ahead, or even slightly down at an angle, right? Nice and smooth. Challenge that balance. Glutes are burning, quads are burning. Again, if you need to feel more in the glutes, extend your stride, bring that foot out a little bit further. I have short legs, so I don't need quite as far as a stride as some of you, right? We really wanna feel that glute burning that shin perpendicular to the ground or as close as we can get it and switch right into the other leg in two one go don't forget that pulse double pump we got 60 seconds here and then we get the 60 seconds of those awesome renegade rows keep it up everybody nice and smooth again feel the burn not trying to set any records all right, we just want those muscles on fire right now. Keep that shin as close to perpendicular as you can get. Get down nice and low on those foot squats. Don't forget the double pump or the pulse. Four to six inch raise, back down, all the way up. Almost there, everybody, hang in there. and rest. Okay, weights down. We're doing the renegade rows next. Starting in two, one, go. Widen the feet. All right, hips stable. Push up, row one side, row the other side. Don't let those hips wiggle. Stable, stable, okay? Balance the whole time. I'd rather you move slower and take breaks, all right, than go fast, okay, and lose technique or form. Keep everything as stable as you can. Nice work. Strong and stable, strong and steady. Keep those hips square. And rest, all right. On our back, grab your light band, put it around the feet, we have the bicycle crunches. In, two, one, go. Two second hold, chest and upper back up the whole time. Create as much distance between your feet as you can. Keep that lower back flat to the mat. Keep that chest elevated. Don't forget to alternate sides. Burning now, keep it up. And rest. All right, 15, 20 seconds. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. All right, we're gonna go through one more round and then we'll move on. You guys are doing great. I know these are burners. Focus on that technique, focus on that form. This is our last time through these, especially on these split squats. Really make sure your foot feels comfortable where it is. Make sure that knee's not going in front of the toe. Keep that shin as close to perpendicular as you can. Push through that forward heel, okay? All right, guys, final round. Here we go, two, one, go. Nice big stride. Find that balance point. Try not to knock over your chair like me. And then don't forget that four to six inch pulse, okay? Get those legs burning.
strong and steady, nice and smooth. Find your balance point. Coming from the guy who tips over his chair and falls over. <laughs> Pass halfway, keep it up. It's like my dad's favorite quote, do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> Perfect example right there. <laughs> Doesn't help that my backyard's on a little slope, but again, that's an excuse. I'm not using it. I just need to do better. And switch, right into the next leg, two, one, Go. Again, four to six inch bounce. Chest up, squeeze those shoulder blades. Push through your forward heel. Keep that shin nice and close to perpendicular to the ground. Make sure that knee's not coming too far forward, okay? Just need to sit back a little bit. Get that glute involved and invited to the party, right? Halfway there, guys, keep it up. It's our last time through this circuit, last time doing these split squats. I know these are everybody's favorite. Burn like fire. Trying to enjoy and savor these last couple seconds doing them. Almost there, guys. Last couple seconds, we're going to the Renegade Rows next. and rest. Okay, weights on the ground, renegade rows, back nice and flat in two, one, go. Feet wide, nice and smooth, keep those hips stable, it's not a race, just steady and strong. Back's flat, parallel to the ground, hips are stable. Push through that core on that push up, right? Like we talked about before, trying to push that world down. Body's as stiff as a board. This is our last time through these. We have our last set of those super awesome bicycle crunches. Almost there, guys. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. And rest. Okay. Move the weights out of the way. Last set, light band, bicycle crunches. In, two, one, go. Two second hold, elbow touching the knee. Create as much distance between your feet as you can, all right? Keep that chest elevated. Keep the upper back off the mat. Keep it up, last time through these guys. And rest. All right. Whew. Done with that guy. All right, so for our next circuit, we're going to use the chair again. Beginners, we will not use the chair, okay? We're going to do a foot elevated glute bridge, hamstring bridge, okay? I'm going to do the beginner version first on the mat without the chair. Advanced and intermediate will both be on the chair, okay? So first, beginner version. I'm going to do heel on the ground, toe up in the air. I'm going to push through my heel until shoulder, hip, and knee are in a straight line. Touch the ground and come back up. So it'll be 30 seconds on the one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Then we're going to do what's called a march. So I stay up, I pick one leg up, and then alternate legs, keeping my shoulder, hip, and knee in a straight line, okay? So it should be nice and smooth on that. That's for the beginner version. Intermediate and advanced. Legs are at 90 degrees on top of the chair, heels on top of the chair. Make sure your foot's not here because it'll push the chair over. Okay, we don't want that. The more we put our leg on top, the more it'll activate the hammy, okay? 30 seconds, shoulder, hip, knee in a straight line. Touch, all 30 seconds that side, all 30 seconds the other side. Touch the butt, go back up. Marching, we start up top and heels stay on top of the chair. That's important, keeping my shoulder, hip, and knee in a straight line. All right, you can pick whatever version works for you. We're gonna start with a single leg, 30 seconds in two, one, go. So 30 seconds, 
Again, legs at 90 degrees, push through the heel on top of the chair, shoulder, hip, and knee in a straight line, touch the butt, go right back up. All right, tension on the muscles as much as you can. Heels on top of the chair. Do not let your arch your foot come here, okay? Right on top, that's what's gonna get those hand active. Push through that heel. Last couple seconds, and we're gonna switch to the other leg. Two, one, switch. So single leg still, whichever leg you haven't done yet. Push through that heel on top of the chair, shoulder, hip, and knee in a straight line. Touch the butt all the way to the ground. Push through the heel to come back up. Full range of motion here. Past halfway, we're going to the marches next, okay? Marches in, two, one, go. So 30 seconds, everything's stable, abs are tight, okay? Shoulder, hip, and knee stay in a straight line. Don't allow your back to arch. Keep those abs nice and tight, nice and on, okay? Alternate leg drives. You should really start feeling those hammies now. Whoops, there goes the chair again. <laughs> At least I haven't fallen down yet. Not yet, I don't wanna jinx it. And rest. Okay, so next, we have a seated Z press, okay? You're gonna grab your dumbbells. They're gonna rest on my shoulders here like this. I'm gonna press with one arm, press with the other arm, and then press with both arms, okay? My legs are out as wide as I can get them, okay? I want you to think about tightening your quads and then leaning back so the abs are active. If this position isn't available to you, have a seat on the chair, okay? Lean back just a little bit so your abs are on, and you're gonna do the same thing. So that'll be the beginner version, okay? Advanced version, legs are straight, intermediate. If you have to bend your knees a little bit, that's fine too, okay? So pick which one ever works for you. Left, right, both for 60 seconds, okay? In two, one, go. So one, other, both, okay? Abs are tight. You want the abs as tight as you can keep them the whole time. Tighten those quads. Hands, I like to keep facing me the whole time. You can turn them if you want. It's just easier on the shoulder if you keep them facing each other the whole time. All right? Keep working, everybody. Make sure those abs are tight. Last couple seconds, last couple reps, you're almost there. And rest. All right, last exercise in this circuit. Beginner version. Hands are on the edge of the chair, slide the butt off. Both feet on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna keep my lower back against the chair. And I'm gonna do marches, okay, trying to pick up my knees, okay? Intermediate version, both feet are on the ground, toes on the ground, hands are on the edge of the thing, uh, a chair, I'm gonna lift my nothing thing, lift my butt up, now I'm gonna march like this, okay? Advanced version, here, pick up, extend out, back down, pick up, extend out, okay? 60 seconds, 60 full seconds in two, one, go. Whichever version works for you. All right, butts off. Keep one foot on the ground, no matter which one you're doing. I'm hunching my shoulders, driving my butt back to stay over my center of gravity to keep my abs on, okay? This will let you know how much flexibility work you need to do, right? Let's see with these little midget legs I got. Feeling those hamstrings and those calves, big time. But I'm also feeling those abs hugely here, right? So push into the chair, lift that butt, lift the knee, extend the leg out. Nice job, everybody. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. If you need a break, sit on the chair, then get going again, right? And rest. 
All right, 15 second break. Just enough time to lay down on our back, get our feet up on the chair on the ground. We're doing the hamstring bridges next, either foot elevated or foot on the ground. Whichever version feels comfortable for you. We're starting in two, one, go. Shoulder, hip, and knee. Push straight through the heel. Straight line at the top. Glutes are tight, abs are tight. 30 seconds on the one leg and then 30 on the other. Round number two here. This is our last strength circuit of the day. Then we're gonna get to a little bit of conditioning. That's when we'll let the fun start, right? And switch, other leg, two, one, go. Again, shoulder, hip, knee, and a straight line at the top. Make sure the heel's on top of the chair, not in front of the chair. Push through your heel as hard as you can so your body's in a straight line. If you're not able to do it on the chair, I want you to switch and go onto the ground. Even if you can only get to here, or even if you're almost there and here, do them on the ground. Perfect straight line is what we're shooting for, okay? We wanna work all the muscles we're supposed to and do it exactly right. And switch to marches, two, one, go. Body straight line, heels on top, alternating side. Remember, abs are tight, hit them if you need to, make sure they're on. Make sure that body's in a straight line, alternating sides. We've got 60 second Z press coming up next. Almost there guys. Switch. All right, grab your dumbbells, legs out in a V. Two, one, go. So here, one arm, other arm, both arms. Abs are tight the whole time, okay? Tighten those quads too. Make sure you're trying to keep those legs down. You can sit in the chair for beginner. You can bend your knees for intermediate. Totally up to you. If you're customizing your program, make sure you challenge yourself, all right? If you're able to do it with good form, maybe do a couple reps at intermediate and then go to beginner. Or a couple reps in advance and then shoot to intermediate. You can go any which way you want at any time, just make sure to emphasize your form. That's what's important. Almost there, guys. Keep it up. This is one of my favorite, least favorite moves ever, right? And rest. All right, dumbbells to the ground. We're going to the chair next with those alternating raises, okay? Two, one, go. Whichever version you're able to do is good. Lift that butt off, both feet on the ground. Lift that knee up. If you can get the kick out, great. I'm starting to fatigue, it's not looking great, right? So I'm going and just gonna do marches now. Keep yourself over your center of gravity, drive those hips back. Bring that knee up as high as you can using the abs, right? Try to keep minimal weight on your feet. Most of the weight should be in your hands. Try to draw up your butt through your core. Keep it up, everybody. Nice work. Finishing off the second round strong. Nice and light on those feet. and rest all right that's two rounds one more to go and then we'll get to conditioning okay get those feet on the mat on our back or feet up on top of the chair all right we're starting the third and final round here in two one go here we go here we go here we go 30 seconds 30 seconds Shoulder, hip, and knee in a straight line at the top. Keep it up. And switch. Two, one, go. 30 seconds on this side. Push through that heel. Heel should be right on top of the chair. Shoulder, hip, and knee straight line at the top, no matter which version you're doing. 
Abs are tight, hit them if you need to. Almost there, we're going to the marches next for 30 seconds in two, one, go. Marches, shoulder, hip, and knee in a straight line, nice and slow. Make sure the heels are on top of the chair, not in front, right? We don't want to knock that chair over like I have twice. Thirty seconds here. We're going to our last set of those Z presses, alternating and doubles. Coming up next. And rest. Okay, right into the Z press. Grab your dumbbells. Two, one, go. Here we go. Legs nice and wide. One arm. Other arm. Both arms. Get full extension of those elbows. Lean back a little bit just so those abs are working right. Palms should stay facing each other if you can the whole time. A little easier on the shoulder that way. Whew. These are tough, guys. Keep it up. You're doing great. And rest. All right. Weights out of the way. Okay, last thing we're doing are those chair raises with our knees. In two, one, go. Last, last exercise of the last strength circuit. We have one more conditioning circuit to do after this. Nice and smooth. Push down into your hands, nice and light on feet. Bring those shoulders over your center of gravity so you're nice and stable. That way we're making sure those abs are working. Last 30 seconds, guys, hang in there. Nice and light on the feet. Push heavy into those hands. If you need a break, sit down on the chair, count down for three, count down for five. Get going on those last couple seconds. And last, a few reps, right? And rest, all right. So we're done with the strength stuff for the day. You guys can move the dumbbells out of the way. We won't need them anymore, okay? We won't need the bands. All we're gonna need is your chair and a mat, okay? We have a 11 minute time block that we're gonna do next, okay? So 11 minutes straight, we have four exercises. The rep scheme will be 5, 10, 15, 20, okay? The first move we're gonna do is a single leg squat to the chair, okay, like this. If that range of motion isn't available to you, what I want you to do is a reverse lunge alternating, okay? Like this. It'll be five a side, okay? That's the beginner version. Intermediate, sit down, stand up, all one leg. So it'll be five on the one leg, five on the other leg, okay? Advanced, we're gonna throw in a little bit of a jump. So you're gonna sit all the way down, jump, do all five to one leg, all five on the other leg, okay? So no matter which version we're doing, we're going to do five a side, okay? After that, you have 10 burpees. So that can be sprawls, or more like a sprawl, no push-up, like this, or you can go chest to the ground, push-up here. So you have 10 of those, no matter which variation you're doing. If you're a little limited by the lower back, you can also do a chair burpee like that. That's fine too, okay? After that, we have 15 step-ups each side all one leg then all the other leg okay so here step up touch the ground back up ideally very minimal weight on that back leg all the way stays on the forward one as i drive up and i get full extension no one should look like this we don't like that here all the way up all the way down okay 15 one side 15 the other the last exercise is a foot elevated sit up okay so feet here like this I'm gonna go up and try to get as toast, close to touching my toes as I can for 20, all right? And again, some of you may not be able to reach up that high. Just slide your hands up to your knees, get as high as you can, okay? 
So just to reiterate, see if I can turn my hat backwards, it's about to get intense, right? That's how you know it's about to turn up. <laughs> all right, so five single leg squats or reverse lunges each side. I'd like you to do all one side first and then all the other side, no matter which variation you're doing. 10 burpees or sprawls, 15 step ups each side. I'd like you to do all one leg and then all the other leg if possible and then 20 foot elevated sit-ups, okay? This is our last thing we're doing for today, 11 minute time block. Push the pace, right? You're gonna wanna try to build as you go, start a little bit slower, get comfortable with the movement, and then ramp it up as we go. We wanna finish stronger than we started. If you need music, you like music, this is a good spot to kind of turn it on as long as you know what the movements are, you have a chance to kind of test them out. If you wanna pause the video or play with it real quick, just to make sure you feel comfortable, by all means, try them out. Turn your music way up, everybody else, 11 minutes, here we go. Starting with the single leg or squats in two, one, go. All right, so five each side. Try to control if you're doing it, no matter which version you're doing, but especially with the jumps. We don't wanna plop down on that chair, right? Once you finish five on the one side, five on the other. After these, you have burpees. Five, 10, 15, 20 is the rep scheme, okay? So 10 burpees or sprawls. Again, we're trying to push that pace, but we're gonna try and build as we go. Start slower, and try to turn it up. You finish your sprawls and burpees, you get your step ups. All 15 one, all 15 on the other. Full extension of the knee and the hip all the way up. Test that balance. Hopefully I don't knock the chair over on this one. When I'm on top, that would be ugly. Again, it's 15 each side, all one side, then all the other, and then 20 of the foot elevated sit-ups, okay? Full extension on those step-ups. Don't cheat yourself, don't cheat the movement. Load that forward leg as much as you can, push through that heel. Last exercise, 20 foot elevated sit-ups, all right? Try to get up as high as you can, try to touch those toes. Legs stay as close to 90 degrees as you can keep them. Here we go, guys. Turn it up. Remember, it's 11 minutes. Pace yourself accordingly. Butt scooting. Nice job, everybody. We're kicking butt. You're doing great. Pushing hard. You're about three minutes in, right? Almost a little over a quarter of the way there. job everybody pushing hard I'm getting rid of this mat it's just getting in my way who needs it it's not a workout if you're not getting dirty right Awesome job, everybody. Keep pushing, keep working. 
You're doing fantastic. Keep it up. Push, push, push. Awesome job, awesome job. Now we're starting to feel a little bit, right? Find your pace and stick to it. It's rest as needed. If you need a little break, take it. If you need to grab some water, grab it. Just keep pushing. Five single leg squats, 10 burpees or sprawls, 15 each side on the step ups, 20 foot elevated sit ups, okay? Keep working, five, 10, 15, 20. Whew. Ow, that's a rock on the spine. Maybe I should have kept the mat. <laughs> You're past halfway, guys. Keep it up, past halfway. Good goal, we try to get anywhere from two to four rounds, right? If we're pushing hard, we should be able to do that. Keep working, past the six minute mark, that means five minutes, less than five minutes left, okay? Push. Got my hands mixed up there. Keep it up, everybody. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Less than four minutes left. Awesome work. Keep it up. Woo. We're burning. Legs are burning. Awesome job, guys. There goes the chair. Number three. You almost wish it witnessed a disaster, right? That's why we work on balance. <laughs> Just embarrassing myself all day. That's really all these videos are, right? A spotter for my two boys. When they get older, be like, look what a goofball dad was, right? In three minutes left guys right about two and a half actually we're almost there this is the home stretch so find that final push dig deep and finish strong okay this is where we want to hit that accelerator and push to the finish so that we have to collapse after the fact and just lay on the ground because we can't do anything else right sucking wind in a pool of our own sweat nothing better 
Love it. Such a great feeling. Get those endorphins flowing. Finish stronger than we started. Come on guys, you got this. Bring it home, bring it home, bring it home. Last 90 seconds, here we go. If you're gonna end on those step ups like me, make sure you're alternating. That way, we can make sure that we're even. Same thing for those single leg squats, okay? Make sure you're even on both sides when you finish. Almost there, guys, push. Less than a minute. guys right about 30 seconds awesome job last 15 seconds way to finish And rest. Nice job. That was a nice, hard finisher, right, guys? Nice work today. I got a new watch. Still figuring out how to use it. So if I got a little tripped up today, sorry about that. It's my first time using it. Ah, thank you guys. Nice work today. So hopefully you're all laying on your back in a puddle of sweat, sucking wind just like I am. Um, that was a little tougher for me today. You guys will get this much later, but. My son was born, Hudson Tyler. He's gonna go by Huck. Um, on Tuesday, it's now Saturday, so what, four days ago? So, workouts, the sleep, I haven't really been there lately. <laughs> so I'm feeling that extra heart rate up, that breathing, it's great. We're so, so thankful to have him home, to be home together as a family. It's really, really been, been incredible. And so fun to see my little guy, Wyatt, take on the role of big brother, which is so much excitement and love. He always wants to hold his baby brother, always wants to be around him, give him kisses. It's really, really amazing. Talk about a motivator. Absolutely love it. So I'll introduce you guys at some point, maybe in the next uh, workout. He's napping right now. But I'll bring little Wyatt and little Hudson out so they can say hi and you guys can meet them. Maybe even the dogs. It's a whole big happy family. Um, but thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Keep working hard. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing awesome. Again, always reach out with feedback or questions, comments, anything that you have. I love it all. I want to make this super fun. I want to make it exciting. And I want to help you guys all achieve your goals. So the more input and feedback that I get, the happier you're going to be with your program, right? And the better these programs are going to be. So thank you guys again. Really appreciate it. Love you all. Um, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great rest of the weekend. And I'll see you in episode 12, all right? Have a good one.